Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to show you a sample application I wrote called Minimail, which demonstrates the use of the encrypted socket support in Air 2. We've had TCP socket support in Flash and Air for a long time, but we didn't support encrypted sockets. So if you wanted to use TLS or SSL, you had to implement the encryption and decryption yourself or use a third party library to do it, which wasn't ideal because of things like access to the operating system certificate store and having to compile certificates into your application and performance, etc. So in Air 2, we added uh, native TLS support to TCP sockets. Having encrypted socket support means you can now talk to servers which require encrypted connections like some XMPP servers, like the internal XMPP server we use at Adobe, for instance, um, some FTP servers, and in the case of Minimail, some email servers. So what Minimail does is just kind of sit there in the background and monitor, monitor any, uh, any IMAP account, then show you notifications of unread messages. In this case, I have it configured to use my Gmail account, my personal Gmail account here. And since Gmail requires an encrypted connection, um, I have this checkbox selected. So, uh, so the application will use the new secure so socket class to uh, talk to Google's IMAP servers. So I'm just going to mark some of my email messages as unread. Then come over here and uh, click on the check now button. And what we should see is hopefully we start seeing some growl like notifications come in up here. We see the number of unread messages indicated in the icon here. And I can right click uh, on the icon and I can see information about my unread messages in the icon menu. So this is an example of, oops, <laughs> that's my uh, regular Gmail notifier coming in too. So you can see they're kind of, they work very similarly. Um, this is an example of, uh, of an application that wouldn't really have been possible in previous versions of Air, or at least uh, wouldn't have been very easy to write, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this feature. Um, check out the blog post for links to where you can download Minimail, uh, also the code for Minimail. You can uh, check it out and see how it works. Thanks for watching.